Hey there, it's Andrew Cartwright. We're gonna go through cards that have for bad credit, no credit, and great credit. These are the highest limit credit cards for 2022, and we're gonna cover credit strategies as well as credit that offers high limits for good credit as well as lower bad credit and ones that have 5% cash back and no annual fees, and the deals get sweeter and sweeter. I'm gonna go through them individually one by one so you know there are so many things out there and if you know my credit journey you know how important it is that you have credit cards i have like 32 of them uh, they're so important i've often got credit cards from like wells fargo for a ten thousand dollar credit limit when i have other cards that have no limit at all like seriously uh the mastercard black the american express and uh, i've always wondered you know i've wanted to charge something for a million dollars just to see if they were serious. But, you know, like maybe a yacht or a Lambo, just charge it and see if they go, oh, wait a minute, you know, it's untested to date. That's not something I, I would put on a credit card. I finance that stuff or buy it cash. If you watch my channel, you know I lived on credit cards for a few years after the great recession of 2008, which was horrible, and that market crash. Now we have China's disaster and hopefully they don't pull us down with their real estate crisis in China because we're all interconnected with all the banking. Credit is so important because my goal on this channel is to help you get and make money, to take that money and leverage it and invest it. To make thousands is pretty easy, as we know and we cover on this channel. The discipline to keep it and grow it and invest it, that's the magic. I wanna make your story a great story. My name's Andrew Cartwright, welcome to the show. I've started 32 companies in 17 industries, bought 17 companies so far, and wanna buy companies with you, uh, my audience. So you own 81%, I own 19%, you run it, I just wanna finance it and put it together. I'm building out and infrastructures that, so that you guys can come in and apply. You can hit me on all my socials. If you need a loan, a regular loan, you can hit in the description. We've done a little over 77,000 loans over the last couple years. If you need one, hit the description, as well as I got 12 free stocks there for you as well. So enjoy those stocks. Grab me on my social or grab a loan. So let's dive into this. This is exciting stuff. The biggest and highest credit limits for cards of 2022. So the hours of research, <laughs> you don't have to worry about doing it now. It's done for you. It's magic. It's, it's YouTube. It's the magic of YouTube. I got some great information for you today. High credit limits with up to $100,000 just straight from Karma that has aggregated all this stuff. So keep watching to find out about all the cards and remember the best stuff is always at the end of the videos. I always save the best for last. Getting a high credit limit is often a matter of having a positive credit history, right? But no matter where you fall as far as the credit score, some cards might be more likely to give you higher credit limits. And we've compiled some of those so that when you do get a credit card, at least you, because every time you do get a credit card, you're taking a chance on you know, your credit being hit for a period of time before you can get a new one. A high limit credit card can increase your purchasing power, improve, improve your credit, believe it or not, because it expands your availability of credit, which would lower your usage of credit. Imagine that. If you have $100,000 to use and you've used 1,000, that's 1% that you've used. If you have $10,000 and you use 1,000, that's 10%. Right? That's a big difference. So the more credit you have available to you and you use less of it, represents as much as 35% of your credit score. That's a cheat code. It's getting cards as high as possible. That's why I'm talking about this, why you wanna make sure that you get the highest card limit possible. So without further ado, let's talk about the high, best, highest limit card and tips on how to put yourself in a better position to get one so that you can get the highest credit limit because the higher the credit limit, the better your overall utilization and actually could fix or help to improve your credit. We're gonna talk about the Chase Sapphire Reserve, the Chase Sapphire Preferred Card City Double Cash, Chase Freedom Unlimited, and the Pedal 2 Credit Card, US Bank Secured Visa Card, and the Discover It Student Cash Back Card. First, the Sapphire Reserve. This is by Chase. It comes with a high credit limit, minimum limit of $10,000 and plenty of benefits to add value. New card holders can earn up to 
thousand points after spending four thousand dollars on purchases in the first three months after their account opens and points are worth 50 percent more to redeem for travel through chase unlimited rewards portal that you go into and you get it i had so many points now with because i use all these credit cards to build company credit that they're all company cards i think i have 32 six of them are personal the rest are all business so a lot of these cards you're going to want to make sure that you open up the business and get them under a business card i cover that on the channel here too how to open up business credit you get annual travel credits with that sapphire card the card comes with 550 dollars annual fee a little bit pricey but there are numerous other value packs that come with it to help offset the cost of that i find most of the charges for these cards in some way the benefits kind of cover that but if you don't use the benefits you lose next we have the chase sapphire preferred card and it comes with five thousand dollars minimum credit line but we've seen claims that the card limits can go up to a hundred thousand dollars yes this is a big one you can get a hundred thousand dollar credit limit with the chase sapphire preferred card so i prefer it maybe you should even without the super high credit limit you also get value out of the card's impressive rewards. The new card holders can earn 60,000 bonus points when they spend $4,000 on purchases in the three months as well when you open the account. Again, go for super credit limits. Even call customer service and ask for a bump. That's one of the first things I would do. If you already have a credit card, this is another hack. Call every single credit card you have. Increase your credit limit. The bonus can be for this one, $1,308 to redeem travel transfer partners. Yeah, you can definitely ask for more money. They'll oftentimes ask you, have you had a pay increase? If you have, a lot of times they'll increase your credit limit. Plus you've already been there. So they see a credit history that they can say, yeah, we could give this person more. We have city double credit card. This is another one. This card has a relatively low minimum credit limit of 500 bucks. But Credit Karma users reviews and reports elsewhere that say that they're closer to 10 or even 40,000 or higher after the card limit increases. This is again, uh, what I call seasoning. No matter what your credit limit is, the City Double Cash Card offers straightforward rewards and the ability to earn 2% back on all purchases. 1% when you use the card and 1% when you pay your bill. It also has a zero, zero annual fee. Then there's the Chase Freedom Card Unlimited. They offer $500 minimum credit limit, but the limit is at least $5,000 if you're approved for the Visa signature version of the card, which is cool, right? Signature. Beyond those minimum limits, this card offers plenty of opportunities to earn cash back. You can earn 5% back on travel booked through Chase Ultimate Rewards, 3% back on dining at restaurants and drugstores purchases, and 1.5% on other purchases. Plus, the card comes with a zero annual fee as well. So it won't cut into your earnings. You'll be able to keep your money. Now there's the one that's best for building credit. That's the Pedal 2 Visa card, credit card. It's 300 to $10,000 limit. If you're not sure, you'll be able to qualify for some of the reward cards on the list. The Pedal 2 Visa card could help you build your credit while also providing a higher credit limit. This is one of the ones I've saved for last. This card lists both its minimums and its maximum limits. If you're approved, your limit will be anywhere from $300 to 10,000 plus. You can see you're pre-approved for the card on the Petal website without affecting your credit score. If you're approved, this card though offers the ability to build credit without paying any fees apart from any interest that may add up if you carry a balance. So pretty cool. You can also earn cash back. All card holders earn at least 1% back on all eligible purchases and the rate could go as high as 1.5% after making 12 um, payments on time. Next, there's the US Bank Secure Card, which is the best for rebuilding your credit. A secure credit card can be useful for building credit, but your limit is often determined by what you deposit on the card. But again, it's gonna show you have that balance 
which when you go for other cards, they'll see that you've had that balance and carried it. With the U.S. Bank Secured Business Visa, the deposit can be anywhere from three to $5,000 to set your card limit. The high limit of at least providing some flexibility when you put a high limit deposit down, that it'll show that you have this ability to carry a credit limit. This card doesn't offer any extra features, but it does charge an annual fee and you'll be able to choose a payment due date anytime you want. It is your money though, but it's for building credit. That's the point. The Discover, it costs money to create credit, I guess. The Discover is a student cash back card. As you can imagine, it's best for students. Students looking to start their credit journey uh, who qualify for this card has a minimum credit limit of $500 and student credit cards aren't known for having the highest credit limits compared to the other cards, but they're going to school. I mean, it makes sense, right? Those students who get approved though for the Discovery Student Cash Back can look forward to plenty of great features on that one too. The card offers a zero annual fee and offers 5% cash back on purchases. All of these purchases get 1% cash back. Additionally, the Discover It student cashback waives the late fee on the first missed payment. So pretty cool there. And not gonna, first of all, they're not gonna hurt you apparently. Generally, the higher your credit score is, the greater likelihood to approve for this card and the credit application with cards with high credit limits that require higher credit scores. So as always, make sure that you start a credit journey and use your credit to the fullest. Um, I, at some point, use my cards to buy and invest uh, to make money. So make sure that you use your credit wisely, it's important, and also build it for the future so that you can buy real estate and businesses. Take care, my name is Andrew Cartwright, love you.